you are actually bringing out some truths. Peel back the layers of all this fluff. Shining the light on this industry as a whole. Maybe you should stay away from it. Hi everybody, welcome to Real Estate Raw and Uncut. This is episode 68. I'm Byron Lazine, joined by Tim Bray. Go Pats. <laughs> they had a big one against the Jets I there. Didn't I, didn't, I didn't even watch. I didn't, I didn't Too watch. Too busy working. I saw the end of uh, my Giants game, which is a great ending. All you Cowboy fans out there, America's you team. get what you deserve and you got it yesterday. That's what you, that's what you get for being a Cowboy fan. So... I like the colors. Go to Texas if you're a Cowboy fan. I'll have to deal with you up here in the Northeast. What do we got? Historic districts. Up in the Northeast where there's a little bit of history. History right? in the historic district and why those are important to not only our culture, but to the makeup of a town. We're in, sitting in Mystic, Connecticut. So we need these uh, historical, you know, I got that zoomed in a little bit. You may be cut, you gotta move it you in. You just want me to be a little close. <laughs> no, but um, Mystic, a lot of people, a lot of tourists come to visit Mystic. Older homes, of the history. 1800s architecture. Um, uh, same thing with Stonington, up and down the coast. It's New England, you know, and you can't just, uh, you know, a lot of these historic societies are, are there to prevent somebody from coming in and just saying, hey, that is an awesome looking Victorian. Let's strip it down, peel it back, and let's make it contemporary. I love and contemporaries. On the inside, yeah. absolutely. And you can do that. There's a place for that. So, I love but, them on the outside, too. Yeah, but are you going to take a Victorian? I'd like to see a high-rise in Mystic. What do you think about that? No, I think you're full of shit. <laughs> I, I better watch myself. <laughs> I don't know if Mystic's going to, is ready for Are we sitting in the biggest high-rise in Mystic? I think we may be. <laughs> this is, this probably is. This is kind of like when you're in D.C. and the Capitol's the highest point. There are no other buildings that are higher than it. Yeah. That's this. This is where we are. But here's the thing about some of these historical uh, district, you know, Exercise. single families, two fam, whatever they may yeah, be. Yeah, yeah. You know, they were built, you know, in a day when you didn't have anybody that was over six feet tall. They were built in a, in a day when <laughs> things were much different. You know, people were, were driving the, the horse and buggy around. Yeah, but we're not talking about the interior because the interiors can be completely reconformed Trump. and redone. It's the exterior and the appeal and how it's keeping with history uh, of that town. But not everybody likes a colonial, right? I mean, Or a Victorian. Or a Victorian. I, I, so many people from out of town come up here and they're like, all you have is colonials and Victorians? Well, not, you know, in, in And raised ranches? Oh, yeah, I don't think you're going to slap a historical society sign on a raised ranch no. any day soon. No. Well, the fact is, those raised ranches and those properties that are built after, after 1950 are even crappier than the historical they're properties. They're probably not going to last due to the construction of the materials. Right. Those properties that are historic, I mean, you, can't, you couldn't reproduce these properties for the, the amount of the worth. I do believe in change, obviously. So I think if it's the right, you know, there's always pushback. You can't change this, you can't change that in these historical districts. I think if it's the right thing for the community to do, then you should tear the suckers down if it's going to improve the community all, overall. Okay, now, now you said if the community approves. Right. Now most, of the, I can't say most, but a lot of the people that reside in these communities are here for yeah. the feel, the flavor. To keep it what it is. To keep it what it is. Yeah. And so to get that push, and that's why historical societies are in place. Sure. And some of those people, you know, it's kind of like the traffic cop with some power. You know, hey, I'm on this society, and I'm here to protect these buildings. And then the common sense goes out the window. Or the principal of a local school. You Same ever thing. talk to a principal? My, yeah, my wife used to date one. Like a retired principal, oh. though. Like a retired principal, the way they talk down to you because they've been talking to eighth graders the whole life, it's like, yo, yo bro, we're into reality now. Bruh. Bruh, we're outside of that brick building. This is called reality. You're not going to talk to me like I'm an eighth grader. So what are you doing? You're giving them the, you're walking up to them going, hey, what up? What up, dog? What up, dog? So I mean, there's, there's, there's a line there. There's a line. Don't cross it. And that's what the historical districts are there for, to make sure that guys like me don't cross the line. And come in and start tearing down blocks that right. have a historical significance. Yeah. No, I and think putting up an electric blue or a scorch where there probably shouldn't <laughs> be one. I heard something about the 
the sports bar up in Willimantic didn't have a good couple of weeks. The the Willie the Willie yeah. Brew Factory. Yeah. <laughs> no, not the Brew Factory. The sports bar. Oh, okay. So your old hangout, oh, Yukon's yeah. Ace, you know. But no, I think they're they're important. Let's keep the some of the history. Let's get rid of the the bad history, the bad juju. And, That's right. Uh, as you'd like to say, and move forward. So. Tell uh, us what you think. Yeah, tell us what you think. If you live in a historical society, drop us a comment. Look forward to seeing you on Friday. It's your signature right there. You got to do it every the end of every. I'll episode. do it, like a gang. I don't. Know. <laughs> gang signature. <laughs>